What's going on guys? Today's video is a little bit different to my usual stuff. Today we're going looking for shark's teeth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run through sort of when I was down there, the, the kind of areas I was looking for and what I was thinking as I went along and sort of the theories we developed on sort of where we'd find them because Eddie and I were sort of just winging this. At the start we weren't really finding much so we had to kind of get an idea of you know where they would fall and where they would come out. So once we got an idea of that we sort of honed in and managed to find a lot more and when I say a lot more I managed to find 15 in an hour so that's like one every three minutes which is really really good average I think we're here with Eddie today as usual and Brandon and Kat and we're gonna get out there hopefully see some sharks and possibly if we're lucky find some sharks so what you want to do is when you get in there is basically go and find the sharks so what we're doing is we're just swimming out to about the depth, then we drop down and, you know, we're just checking out things along the way too, so there's some nice fish and stuff. It is possible to dive down at this point, it's only 10 metres and I have been free diving here before, but it's very hard to stay down long enough. Just checking along the way, but sort of not finding much yet, this sort of point we're just trying to get an idea of where we think they might be. This was down at around 18 metres we found the sharks. We ended up finding three or four green, these are green nurse sharks. get an idea of where they're swimming around, what depths. Today they're at 18, but we do, I have seen them shallower. I have, this is the second time I've been to this dive site, so I thought, I know they've been shallower. And once we found them, we started looking around. What you'll notice is all of these shells in the sand is sort of similar size to the teeth. of the day that's sort of what we noticed where I just found that tooth and where Eddie's just found this one is all the sand is a similar size to the tooth not the other two off it's just Eddie and I now we're going out specifically looking for teeth and or other things we've got the pole stars with us but I mean that's just secondary today we're just going out just have a look around what are you gonna find Eddie So now in our second dive, we did find two teeth on the first dive, which gave us a good indication of sort of, well just get, helped us develop some theories. And what we decided is, we didn't go down to where the sharks were, we know they do hang around the 10 meter mark at times, so we dropped back to around the eight to 10 meters. And what we've noticed is around the eight to 10 meter mark, the sand and the rocks were a similar size to what the teeth were. So our best theory was is that they were actually classifying out into the same areas. So if we went to a spot where the sand and the shells were smaller than the teeth, there weren't any teeth. And same if we went to a spot where they were bigger. Oh, 
That there is actually an egg from a Port Jackson shark. It was very cool. It looks like it's been down there a while and it's got stuff growing on it, so I'm not sure if it would have still had a live baby in there, but I put it back where it was anyway, and hopefully that guy will hatch. Another tooth. That one's a smaller one, so it's either from a smaller shark or up the back of the gums. We were finding shark tooth after shark tooth on that last time. Well, I was. I was just zoning out and we're not trying to find shark tooth. Couldn't find anything. Yeah, possibly Couldn't even find any knock after that. <laughs> <laughs> but that was really good. Eddie, come on, show us. Eddie's definitely okay. found the tooth of the day. Well, well, look at this. It's interesting because we don't even know what species it is. We've never heard of even any sharks other than the grey nurse sharks being uh, at this spot. So this is a, a fairly ferocious. Yeah, like that. That kind of tooth is like thing. for tearing flesh. Whereas you look at the teeth on well, let's the have a look grey at nurse. Little needle teeth, okay? Yeah, the tiny little needle teeth for just like grabbing a fish. Great example. Yeah, it's just for like poking, and once it's got the fish, it just kind of, the fish can't get away. It's not for like, um, cutting. Yeah, they're just so, kind of angled in Completely different fish. species. But yeah, so we're glad we didn't run into the owner of that tooth today anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if any of you guys are wondering, we're at Bush Rangers Bay today. So if you want to go out and find some shark teeth, head down to Shell Harbour, jump in the water there at Bush Rangers Bay, and head down about eight meters, because that's where you're going to find them. Awesome little spot there. 18? Did you say 8? Eight? 8 eight meters is where you're going to find the teeth. 18 meters for the sharks. Cool. That's where you're going to find them. And we had a great day, didn't we? It was awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Lots of fun. You might even see us down here. So, get to it.